Hi there, Laura here. Today I am going to do a first impressions with the At Forest Sight palette from Raw Beauty Christy in Colourpop. Here's the palette with its beautiful mushroom packaging. And here's the colours. And um, if you saw my Colourpop haul yesterday, you would have seen how surprised I was that I actually ended up getting this palette because um, <laughs> I, I didn't think that I, I would. I, I was sure it was going to be sold out. I hadn't gone on the site to um, get this palette. I was on the site for something else and it just happened to be there and I pressed yes I want it because I did want it because all those autumn colours are very me. And, um, <laughs> and, and I got it so I was amazed. So um, I'm wearing yellow and rust kind of autumn colours. It's actually the first day of summer here and um, it's cold and it's pouring through. <laughs> so yay for us. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with chanterelle, which is a type of mushroom. Oh, I love these mustard yellow colours. And that went on really nicely. I like Colourpop shadows though for a couple of reasons. <laughs> One is most of the Colourpop shadows that I have work really well. I'm just going to blend that out. I want a fluffy brush for that though. Most of the Colourpop shadows that I have work really well. I can't think any of off the top of my head that I think that. I don't like that but I'm, I'm really happy with the way they all perform. I can get it to New Zealand with free shipping without having to spend a fortune because um, they only have a $50 limit for free shipping for international which is good because like BH Cosmetics is more expensive than that and um, so is the Revolution site it's a lot more expensive to get free shipping there and I hate paying for shipping if I don't have to. <laughs> they have a um, good variety of stuff and um, it arrives in good time. So I ordered this on, well it must have been on launch day because it sold out pretty quick. I'm not even sure exactly what date and it arrived yesterday and it's now the 1st of December. Today when I'm filming this, so um, yeah, that arrived well. Get blended out nicely, and then I'm going to go in with Fiddlehead. I think these are. This is my kind of green. I like these kind of greens more than these more blue-based greens. These kind of greens are what I'm always looking for. can hear banging. Hang on. Is either someone at the front door or someone's doing something weird? <laughs> no, I was right, it was my dad at the door so I had to go talk to him about decking material because we're getting a, a, a new deck. So what was I going to do? I was going to go into Fiddlehead. And I'm going to buff that out. Now if you just look at it like that you'll think oh it's gone patchy but that's not the eyeshadow that is just the wrinkly bits in my eyes. <laughs> so the eyeshadow isn't actually patchy. It's just my wrinkly eyelids that make things look like that. actually pretty smooth for me. That's a lovely colour. Look how deep that's gone and that's using a fairly fluffy brush. I did pack it on first but still that 
worked really well. I'm going to go back into chanterelle, just clean that crease a little bit. Cool, looking good I think. And then I'm going to go in with I'm not sure whether I will use Emerald City or PNW. I'm going to start off with Emerald City. Is it? Like, there's a bit of kick up in the pan, but that's fine. I wasn't sure whether that would um, be deep enough to deepen that up, but it is. It just keeps it a bit greener. Oh, did you hear that? That's my stomach rumbling. <laughs> Be quiet, stomach. It's not time for anything to eat. Can see. Can you can you see that where there's gaps in it? That's not the eyeshadow. That is my wrinkles. So I'm just gonna very gently pull it out and fill that in. <laughs> if you don't have wrinkly eyelids, you won't have this problem. That worked really well. I'm so far. I'm really happy. Now. I think I'll be using West Coast, which is that shimmery gold one, but I do really like the look of Evergreen as well. It's an interesting sort of taupey colour with a green accent. I'm just wondering if I need to put something on as a base first. I'm going to try it without. So I'm going to go in with Evergreen, which is this shimmer here. And this is dry. Oh, I like that. That's really pretty. Christy has done really well here with Colourpop. That's pretty. I like it. Now, looking at my eyes straight on in the mirror, I think I want to go a bit higher with that mustard yellow because yeah, it's early in the morning and my eyes are a bit more saggy by the end of the day they're less saggy <laughs> does anyone else have that problem with their eyes and just because I want to use lots of different colors I'm going to put some red liner down here I'm using an essence liner and very fantastic. I actually quite like the Essence Liners. Um, I just can't get very many colours in store where I am, which is annoying. I actually like them better than the Colourpop ones. Some people would argue with me there, I'm sure, but the Colourpop ones really annoy me because they keep breaking. Whereas these are, these are twist-up ones as well, and these ones don't break on me. And they don't dry out on me like the Colourpop ones do. The, um, the Essence ones I can have for ages and they're still great. I'm going to go into Enum Meta. I don't know what that is. Enum Eta. That one's got an asterisk on it, so it's got an eye safety warning. But that'll be because of the pigment in it. And if it wasn't in the US, it wouldn't have an eye safety warning. <laughs> Basically. Oh, no, yeah, look there, which was she? I'm impressed. I think I might go into PNW here. Just because I want to use all the colours. Oh, 
and layering on top of each other really well. I'm just doing it along my lash line here, and it's working really well. It worked really well. And then I want to go in with the West Coast, the gold one here. Well, my inner corner. Oh, look how bright that is. Getting a little bit of fallout, but that's okay because I haven't done my face. It worked really well. Okay, I'm gonna clean up, do the rest of my face, and then I'll be back and give you my thoughts. Although, but we already know what they are because I've been telling you all along. <laughs> and that is my final look for my first impressions of the At Forest Sight Raw Beauty Christy Colourpop palette and I used my Lick, Clapper, Lick Lip Paint Lacquer from L'Oreal Gone with Nude on my lips and um, I have to say really happy with first impressions so far It um, blended really nicely. All the colours go together. They don't haven't no muddiness or anything. The colours are coming out true to what's in the pan. And um, the shimmers went on nice. And they're not cracking on my wrinkly eyelids, which a lot of shimmers do. They've, they're just sitting there really nicely. So far so good so I'm really looking forward to playing with this palette some more I'm really happy with the way that's working so yay <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye